We're in the conservatory today with Ray Owen to play us a song and tell us about his career. Ray, who were you first listening to and who inspired you to play? Uh, originally, I was very young, it was uh, Bert Whedon, uh -huh. uh, who's uh, quite well known with uh, a lot of musicians of that era. And I don't know if he's still around or not, but he was very good. And uh, some of the old blues boys, you know, like uh, Buddy Guy, um, Buddy Miles, people like that. Okay. Oh, love. You then went on to form a band. Yeah, well, I was working at a hospital, uh, Fulham Hospital, and basically uh, somebody was working with me in the CSSD department. He was working with a group called The Crowd. And he used to go around singing and everything, and I, he heard my voice and he said, would you like to come and join us? He said, I think you've got a good voice. So I said, uh, yeah, I'll give it a go, a bit shy, but you know, I'd never done anything like that before on stage. So I just joined him and we got on well and we all became friends. And we used to play for the hospital, but they're do's, they're hops, nurses and doctors hops. It's quite good fun. Okay. And then you... Then you went on to play in bass for The Misunderstood, a band which moved to the UK from California. That's it. And then, of course, vocals for Juicy Lucy, Neil yeah. Hubbard, Keith Ellis and Glenn Ross Campbell. Some very yes. good musicians there. Those were the days. <laughs> and, of course, an album and an appearance on a UK music programme, Top of the Pops. That's right. Yeah, we did, uh, on Top of the Pops, we were uh, really pushing our first single, which was called Who Do You Love, written by Bo Diddley, uh -huh. the black blues player. And then he formed Moon, again with some very good musicians, yep. an album that the great Eddie Kramer was involved with. That's right, that's uh, Jimi uh, Hendrix's uh, producer on Electric Ladyland. And uh, I was with the same management, so that, that's how that came about. You know, I was on Polydor, uh, Jimmy was on track, and they were all similar. Okay, I recall a story about a phone call when you were asleep from the gig the night before. Remind us of that. That was quite funny actually because I've just I've been touring and uh, came back and I was absolutely knackered. And I just went to bed, I was living at my mum and dad's house at the time. So I went upstairs to my bedroom and I wasn't aware of the fact that the phone was ringing because I was too gone. <laughs> and uh, my mother answered the phone and apparently it was a guy called According to my mother, Jimmy Henderson, <laughs> and uh, she was a bit hard of hearing, so she said, "I'm not waking him up. He's asleep. He's been tutoring." Oh. And uh, she turned around and said, "Give us your number, and I'll get him to phone you back." So she got his number, thank God, and um, then eventually she woke me up and turns around and goes, "There's a Jimmy Henderson thing phoning you." I said, "Jimmy Henderson? I've never heard of him. Who's Jimmy Henderson?" And then we we toured and froed a bit. I said, "You don't mean Jimmy Hendrix, do you?" So that's the name, Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, what are you going to play for us? Only one you know. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Away nice you go, one. Ray. Lovely. Sweet. 
together Only when I learned how to be free If you left me, if I left you Would we both still feel the same? Maybe to be free.